I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for June Aries. Now, it's such a big month coming up. There's so much activity at the moment. I mean, we've just had a solar eclipse in your solar third house, which all to do with creativity. You might have found just recently you've been in the public eye or have been recognized for some work that you've been doing. But coming up this month, early in the month on the 4th, uh, there's a lunar eclipse um, going to be in the sign of Sagittarius. So this is for you. Um, it's all about getting out there and meeting people. So it's a very, very good position for you to just uh, connect with the people that are going to be able to make the life changing decisions that can move your, for your life forward. Now, at this point, I'd like to just say eclipses can really be confronting. And, but what that does is it throws you into chaos, nothing you can't handle and it almost like it throws everything up it's like i like to say it's like when you push the reset button on your computer or you know one of your electronic devices and it gives you an opportunity to just re rethink things and uh, you know reset your life so you can get back on the track that you want to you know move on but it's very important over this month that you get some work home life type balance there could be a conflict between um, what you're doing at work and what's happening on your domestic scene. Okay, so you may have to just appease somebody that if you, you know, if you're flat out busy at work, then maybe you're not going to have time to give somebody the attention that they demand. So, you know, you're going to have to try and be, you know, cater to everybody's whims and not easy and not easy for you to do Aries because you, you've got so much going on on your own plate that, you know, it sort of can tie you back a little bit, but keep that in mind. Now, career and money specifically, you really need to stick to your principles this month. Don't let anybody influence you to do something that doesn't feel right. Now, particularly when it comes to money, okay? Um, you, you, know, you know what works for you. If you need some help, be careful of in consulting with friends that really don't have their life together. You know, follow the people that you know, have made it um, in the world financially or go and get some professional help. And of course, it's, you know, there's an amount, an amount of work on the, inter, you know, research that you can do on the internet these days. So, you know, there's no shortage of gathering information. You just have to put the time aside to do it. Now, love and romance. So Saturn still sits in your seventh house of love and partnerships. As you know, it's been there for some time. It finally comes out of its retrograde um, transit on the 25th of this month. Okay, but around that time, you want to be careful that you edit your words too. I mean, communication is the key. And when I say by edit the word, your words, it, don't try and blurt something out. It's going to cause you more trouble than what it's worth. So if you've got something to say, if it's a sensitive area, then, you know, go through and rehearse it a little bit in your head or down on paper before you, uh, you know, jump in and say what you mean or what you feel rather. Now, your lucky numbers for the month are 12, 13, 21, 25, and 29. And I've left one number there that you can put your own lucky number in. And your most powerful day is June the 29th. So financial news around this time can actually restore your faith in that things are actually going to start to change and happen. So some confronting things, but some good things happening, Aries. You have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.